Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is vowing to complete his mission to defeat Hamas regardless of ceasefire talks. In Tel Aviv, Israelis protesting against Netanyahu's handling of the war were dispersed, you see it there, by a police water cannon over the weekend. Now, all this comes as Palestinians in the Gaza city of Rafah brace for a possible ground assault by the Israeli army. Holly Williams has more on that part of the story. In the ruins of Gaza City, stalked by hunger and fear, some have reached breaking point. I wish my children were dead so they couldn't ask me for bread. I cannot feed my own children, shouts this man. But on Face the Nation yesterday, Israel's Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, said he's determined to launch an offensive in Rafa in southern Gaza, where around one and a half million Palestinians are now sheltering. We can't leave a quarter of Hamas uh, battalions in uh, Rafah and say, mm -hmm. well, that's, that's fine. Total victory is our goal, and total victory is within reach, not months away, weeks away, once we begin the operation. But the price of Israel's total victory is being paid not just by Hamas, but by Palestinian civilians. Mohammed al farah is a Palestinian journalist who lives in the West Bank. He told us his sister Simat, her husband and three daughters were killed by an Israeli airstrike in Gaza in October. This is the moment he heard the news. Were you able to recover her remains after the airstrike? We found the bodies of my sister and brother-in-law, he told us. But we couldn't recognize the children's faces. Israel says it has a plan to evacuate civilians from Rafah. Now, that ceasefire deal being negotiated could reportedly see a six-week pause in fighting and the release of dozens of hostages in return for hundreds of Palestinian prisoners. Gail. Details tough to hear. These are human lives we're talking about. Never forget that. Thank you, Holly Williams, reporting from Israel.